Hello, and welcome to Dragon Ball Speak, a show where we summarize and review mm. three episodes of Dragon Ball Z at a time, and we rate them each on a scale of one to seven stars. Mm-hmm. We're available on iTunes, I was going to say iTunes, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and other podcast uh, apps around the universe. And this is Dragon Ball Speak episode 41. I'm Brandon. And I'm Wesley. And this is Dragon Ball Speak episode 41. (laughs) You might have to... Fix that up a little bit. Chop that up a little bit. It's fun. All right. Uh, Episode 135. Deadly Beauty. Deadly Beauty. Otherwise known as the beginning of the Turtle Saga. Oh, my God. (laughs) I didn't think in these three episodes that we were going to see... Um, no, 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 no! Don't spoil it. That's save true. it, save it. You gotta let them. You gotta make them work for that's it. You true. know, what all I'm gonna say is, we've seen Goku go Super Saiyan. We've seen Vegeta go Super Saiyan. We've seen Trunks. What's the next logical step? What is the next logical step? You'll see. Deadly Beauty. Eighteen is up to fight. What did you think about the episode? Um, it was my favorite of the three. Yes, me too. By like a pretty good margin. Like, I wanted to retroactively give this episode more stars after the other two. Not that the other two were awful, but, like... Eh, I mean, awful is a strong word, but they weren't great. No, they weren't great. Um, Yeah, this one is definitely the best. Um, Mostly because it actually features stuff that matters. Yeah, and even that... For a large majority of the episode. And even this one doesn't feature as much. This one even is a little padded, yeah. Yeah. Now, um... Yeah, so we get uh, 18 steps up to plate, just like at the end of last episode. Um, they kind of get into it pretty quickly. Yeah. After we see, like, 16 looking at the birds and smiling. It was pretty surprising. Vegeta, like, started going hard, and he was doing some pretty good numbers. I was like, oh, okay, maybe Vegeta is um, actually capable of maybe taking down at least one of them. But, I mean, uh, is it 18? Yeah, 18 was making it pretty um, – she kept saying, like, I'm not even – yeah, she. W- w- yeah, as it turns out, she really was just kind of. They, you know, they they seem to like these uh, like games. I guess. Yeah. They're kind of making a joke out of the whole thing in general. So he is stronger than they expected. Seventeen makes a note of that while eighteen's fighting him. He's like, Doctor Zero underestimated Vegeta. I think. Yeah, yeah. She uh, she's pushing him back pretty pretty consistently throughout the fight. Uh, he like gets a good hit in the face and stuff, but like mm-hmm. as we know, she it really doesn't do anything to her. Uh, we still don't even really know, like, the like are these, like, normal things to fight? Like No, yeah, we don't. They, they keep on, like, implying that they're, like, like robotic, Metal. metallic. I think it's just Vegeta I, I, that's assuming that. I don't think, like, that's, puns. I, that's... I don't know that that's really the case. The impression I get, I don't know, 16, they're definitely making more of an effort to be robotic. Yeah. And they, I think he, Jiro specified, like, he was, like, totally mechanical or something along those lines. Yeah. I don't know if that was said or not. I don't remember. Anyway, more importantly, Gohan is flying, and then oh. Trunks pees on Yajirobe's head. Like a lot. And it's not it's yeah. not yellow. Well, he's probably just hydrated, you know. Yeah. The, uh, <laughs> the old... <laughs> the color was weird. They should have just made it yellow. Uh, then we get... Uh, so Vegeta is chasing Android 18, so this whole part is, like, obvious padding. Yeah. Bad. And it's also a way for Toriyama, or whoever the head animator on this, whoever was the director of this episode... To, to continue Dragon Ball Z's legacy of hating blue-collar workers. You oh, know, many people died. We've seen farmers get shot. And again, in this episode, we just see a poor farmer or rancher, whatever you want to he call was a, it. He just, was a shepherd. Yeah, like, dude just gets a giant cliff now in the middle of his yard, and he's got sheep on the other side. What's he going to do? Yeah, but you blasted it. Yeah, the, the truckers later, like, something. They don't like blue-collar workers in the show. Yeah, so for whatever reason, we have a fight sequence on, on a highway mm-hmm. on vehicles yeah and so you know the driver was like oh no or the passenger was like i think you got something on top of your truck man he called him cletus he was like hey cletus and then he's like nah man i think you just been driving too long little buddy and then um turns out there were people fighting on top of his semi truck yeah we get some i mean nothing really of note some i guess you could say fighting throughout the sequence but really 
it's just kind of a time filler. And as a matter of fact, it is filler because the fight itself, for the most part, in uh, you know, in canon, is pretty much just the uh, the old beatdown and then the arm break at the end. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But more importantly, again, the uh, guy on this and another sixteen wheeler wheeler is delivering paper clips. Yep. He actually mentions that twice. Yeah, he does. He says paper clips. And then he literally gets vaporized. <laughs> <laughs> Vegeta freaking tries to blast Android 18, and she's like, you won't hit me. And he's like, yeah, I will. And then he misses. Yeah. And um, the truck blows up, killing the guy inside, we have to assume. And the freaking road blows off the mountain. Yeah, and 18 is like, you were off by 10 degrees. Yeah. And there's no consequences for Well, Vegeta destroying. probably doesn't really care anyway. Yeah, that's fair. Well, I just mean like in the world, like... no. Oh. Where's the military at? That's what I'm asking. The military tried with Napa, remember? <laughs> That's true, yeah. That terrible episode. <laughs> um, more importantly, once again, we cut to Marin. Yes, which I'm very thankful for. I'm so glad that we are still getting more Marin content. I remember whenever we were in the Garlic Jr. saga, one of the best sagas of Dragon Ball Z, that I was like, there's no way we're getting more Marin. And sure enough, we're getting a lot of Marin. Arguably... As much Marin as everything else, at least in these three episodes. At least in like fifteen one thirty seven. Uh, yeah. Um Yeah, so Marin's uh windsurfing is what it's called. Yes. Um and Roshi's looking at his um little porno mags. And Marin well he there's like a lot of gratuity, like lots of fan service in this episode. Yeah. Um Roshi looks at her boobs and he's like, Oh my gosh, all those curves and I don't even know, other things like that. And then she's like, why don't you come over here and get in the water with me? And he's like, oh, my God. Um, he gets all, you know, very excited. His nose starts bleeding all over the place. And then it turns out she was talking to Turtle mm-hmm. next to Roshi. Mm-hmm. So Turtle is also, as turtles do, getting hot and bothered mm-hmm. by Marin, which very normal thing. Turtles, all the turtles I've ever seen do get hot and bothered by humans. Um, it's not a weird thing at all. And the the show doesn't make it any weirder later either. Oh no, it doesn't. It definitely doesn't get weirder. <laughs> um, the turtle gets in the water, and you're probably wondering why I'm explaining so much of this, and that's because this is like basically the rest of the episode. Although we do cut back to some other stuff. The turtle gets in the water. They're swimming. Um, some dudes show up. Right? Is that this episode? No, no. Way to spoil it. Oh, that's next t- episode. I'm sorry. I'm spoiled. I'm jumping ahead in the turtle saga. I enjoy it so much. Um, I don't even remember where it ends here, but the turtle gets in the water with there and they're very excited. I don't remember where it ends there either, but, but what I do remember is that, um, Vegeta takes a headbutt to the forehead. Yeah. It's very, that, that big old six head got, got a little mark on it. It makes it, the Android should just always headbutt because it doesn't probably harm them at all. Yes. And headbutts are probably one of the most like painful things you can inflict on somebody if done correctly, which the androids don't have to worry about doing it correctly because presumably they're they don't feel it or their heads are made of metal yeah they should just headbutt everybody is what i'm saying well maybe they should but apparently a knee to the stomach does the trick too because yeah. that's what he got next and he coughed up blood it's a very cool looking <laughs> scene actually i really like this Vegeta's no yeah sitting over her shoulder and you weren't like really quite sure what happened because yeah. he punched her in the stomach but it like i don't know if she got him first or whatever mm-hmm. and he's just sitting there and then he finally like coughs and blood comes out and you're like oh shit yeah it was sick and she's like just standing on one leg, like the other foot into his chest. Like it's mm-hmm. not even bothering her. Mm-hmm. You know? And um seventeen's kinda watching, he's like, Hey sixteen, why don't you fight? And he's like affirmative. Just kidding. He says um that he won't fight. <laughs> I just love doing that <laughs> every time. Um he says he will only fight Goku. Yeah. And he's more preoccupied with the birds. Yeah, he likes the birds. Yeah. Vegeta does not need help anyway. Seventeen warns everybody who now just flew in and landed on the road and caught up with Vegeta. Mm-hmm. Hey, if you try to help out Vegeta, um, I will step in also. Foreshadowing. Foreshadowing to the, next uh, the end of the episode. At the end of it, yeah. I guess. Um, but Vegeta doesn't want help anyway. Or so he says. But he probably should have took help because... He then goes to punch Android 18. She catches both of his hands one at a time. Then she punches him in the gut and the face. Yeah. And then we get the deadly kick. How sweet was that moment? It was very sick. I didn't really comprehend what happened. 
I thought that it was more his ribs were going to be broken, but it was his arm. His arm, and his arm had a 90 like, degree angle. Yeah. I was, I was sitting at the couch and I was like, hey, wait, do our arms turn that way? No, they don't. They don't turn that way. <laughs> so his arm's just destroyed. Not that a sensu bean can't fix later, probably though. Two sensu beans. Two sensu, two sensu beans. <laughs> yeah, he had two, remember? Which is weird because Yamcha's one sensu bean fixed a giant hole in his chest. <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know. Um, yeah, but you know, like the, the joints are tricky. Yeah, <laughs> true. Um, and then right at the end of the episode, when that happens, um, well, actually we have to cut to Goku first. Who's still in bed. Um, things are going on. I wrote down, I'm sensing a pattern. Is that you remember when he was running on snake way? Yeah. Do you remember when he was on his way to Namek training in the space pod? Yeah. (laughs) Do you remember when he was training on King Kai's planet? Oh yeah. I just, I wrote down, I think I'm sensing a pattern here. (laughs) Goku's there for a little bit of the fight or he hears of the fight. Something has to get in the way of him being immediately at the fight. And I know they're going to, in a very hype-ass moment, bring him back. And I'm going to be so stoked about it, even though I'm just falling for their shit again. Which is just, if you take away the thing that I want to see, make me want it, and then give it to me, I'm going to be really excited. It's a perfect formula, (laughs) unfortunately. (laughs) It really is. Because I know it's going to work. It's worked every other time. It even worked in the freaking Garlic Junior Saga or whatever. Oh, he wasn't in that, was he? Uh, I don't he know. wasn't. Who no, cares? He was, yeah, who, I don't even remember that. Um, but then we cut back and Trunks, you know, dummy Trunks, Father! jumps in and we get like the nice little freeze frame art into the episode. What's gonna happen now that Trunks is a dumbass? Find out next week on Dragon Ball Z. One by one. Yeah. But um, before Krillin. we get there, we got to rank this episode. Uh, I gave it a five out of seven stars, and that's because. I actually wanted to give it a 5.5, but we don't really do halves, and I figured I would round it down in fairness, so it gets a 5 instead of a 6, because mm-hmm. it's not quite a 6 for me. Yeah, it wasn't quite a 5 for me. I would probably give it 4.5 if we could, but I gave it a 4. Okay, well, mm. yeah. Well, yeah. just the truck stuff kind of dragged on, and the, uh, the or the highway, or the, and the mare and stuff is yeah. really, really, really overstated its welcome, but luckily well, I think not, it's... not quite. Not, yeah, but I think it's I think it's actually done for good this time. That would be awesome. Actually, I know for a fact that it's done for good this time. I thought I knew you for a fact last, last time, time, but now I really know for a fact. <laughs> I really thought you were like, well, we're never going to see her again. I'm like, okay, cool. And it just shows up, and I was like, okay. Yeah, well, episode 136. Um, no match for the androids. No match. Trunks fails. Yeah, hard. Instantly. Yeah, his shield gets broken like glass. His shield? His sword. <laughs> sponsored by pokemon <laughs> no yeah his, his his sword breaks which is a huge bummer because we get the sense that that's a that's a part of his uh identity you know what i mean mm-hmm. 16 yeah. is just kind of watching we get a lot of 16 watching yeah you scared the birds away <laughs> affirmative and we get a <laughs> affirmative <laughs> we get a deep deep punch on piccolo from android yeah. 17 done one punch i wrote where i wrote i wrote one punch android saitama would be proud that is extremely clever. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Piccolo is down for the count with one one very painful looking gut punch. And let me let me ask you: You think if Piccolo goes down on one punch, you think the other people have a chance? Why didn't Krillin step in at that point? You know what I mean? Like and he gets sad about it later, and he's like, like "I should have stepped in." It's like, no, dude, you'd probably actually be dead. Because if he took any of the hits that Trunks or Piccolo or Vegeta <laughs> took, he would have been decimated. Yeah, Tien's lucky he just got choked out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, our whole crew is Dunzo, basically. Well, not Dunzo. They're one by tapped one. out. And the androids are being... They they have mercy because they're playing games. Vegeta, Vegeta tries a sneak attack on... Uh, <laughs> I'm having a hard time today. <laughs> Vegeta tries a sneak attack on Android 18. He's laying on the ground, and then he gets up real fast and blasts her. But she does a leapfrog over the blast mm-hmm. and then hits him again and then stomps on his back, yeah. which also looks painful. And Krillin's watching. He's like, oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> At this point... I think maybe at this point or somewhere in here, six or Krillin starts to notice 16. And in my head, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that they need to just focus on taking out 16 now. Yeah. Okay. So I, I do want to know who do you th- suspect would be the strongest of the three? If you had to choose, I imagine it's gotta be 16. He's the killing machine, like built for Goku. Goku's presumably the strongest that doctor, like Dr. Jiro was making 16 with Goku in mind, thinking Goku's probably the strongest being in the universe at this or in the on earth. So I imagine that, and he's going to be, I don't know, he doesn't really show any signs that he'll be stronger other than he's just, just bigger, but um, I actually have a whole theory about, I think that 
Android 16 is going to be used to take out Android 17 and 18. And I think mm. what's going to happen is they're going to get in his way of taking out Goku. And I think mm. I think 16's like whole mind, mindus operandi, whatever that word is, modus operandi, is got to take out Goku at any cost. So if his buddies, which aren't really his buddies, they're just fellow robots, get in the way, he's got to take them out to get to Goku. That's my theory. Because I honestly don't know how the hell. Well, actually, there is a, a po- maybe a possible way coming up that they might beat the androids. But um, what do you think that? It, oh, well, the Piccolo stuff mm-hmm. that we're gonna get to. But right now, I'm not seeing any way out for these people. And I, I mean, Piccolo had an inkling. Is that the right word? An inkling? Yes. <laughs> that um, Vegeta was stronger than Goku. So I don't even know if Goku coming back is gonna. That's be the thing. Super Krillin keeps right on now. doing the uh, Goku. Where are you? But it's but it's like <laughs> Scoob. <laughs> you like Zoink Scoob? <laughs> But it's like, why? What? What is that gonna do at this point? You know what I mean? If Vegeta got, uh, he got, he got slapped. I think Krillin is also Krillin's supposed to represent us in the show, which is, we don't know how. We know Goku's gonna come back. We know he's gonna save the day because he's super. The thing is, this is the first time that he's out and he's not training. He's like dying. That's true. Yeah, he's gonna have to have like physical therapy afterwards or some kind of therapy probably. Nah, sends a bean. Sure. Uh, Marin. Yeah, let's get back to the actual so we get turtle some, saga. Well, we get some Chads pulling up. Yeah, like a oh, it's just two no, of them. No, 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 no. Yeah, save <laughs> it, bro. Sorry. Save it, bro. You get ahead of head. <laughs> just two Chads. Yeah, and then I actually like, wrote down their lines. If you want to, if you want to run through, them. please give me your. Oh, oh, I'm going. I'm doing it. What's going on, babe? Hey, how would you like to go for a little ride? That was excellent. That was Thank perfect. You um and she's like oh okay but then i guess she falls off the surfboard <laughs> starts drowning then turtle saves her and then we get like a very strange turtle starts surfacy. eating some ass let's just be honest <laughs> Basically. let's just say how it is <laughs> um he takes her back to land and there is no so they they show up and they're like come on babe let's go ride and the turtle's like i'm not having that no freaking way dude this is my girl y'all back off and so they're talking to Marin, and the turtle looks around to the side, and they're like, yo, what's up with that turtle? And then the turtle gets in front of them, and he threatens to fight them, basically. Stands up on his two feet, and he gives them the old Kamehameha turtle. That's in this episode. I wrote down Kamehameha turtle right here. Ah, yes, turtle... Turtle versus Chads is what I wrote. <laughs> yeah, so he basically beats the shit out of them. He does say Kamehameha turtle, right? Yes. Okay. He says, but he doesn't like commit to it. It's like, <laughs> come my home, my turtle. <laughs> Instead of like owning it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, pr- predictably, nothing happens. He is not capable of any kind of come on my beam move or whatever. Um, but he still beats the crap out of these dudes and they're donezo. And Marin is so excited, even though we don't. Marin wanted to go no, with him. Oh, right. Yeah. And then yeah. the turtle beats them up. And Marin's like, thank you so much for saving me. But Marin, you. The turtle's just jumping in and speaking for you. Anyway, the turtle's standing there. Um, Marin's really excited, and she spins the turtle. Spins the hell out of him. <laughs> Why <laughs> did she spin him? He gets so he gets dizzy. He's got the little swirlies it's in his like eyes. What, and th- like they don't even mention it. No, they don't. She was just like, "Fuck this turtle," <laughs> and she spins him. And then, um, and then she goes in for a kiss, which is what we all expected to happen right i mean that's what you do when a turtle saves your life you yes. kiss it on the, yes on the mouth too yes um the turtle at the last minute dodges goes into his little hole and she's like what the heck and he's like we can't do this it's not right me and you it doesn't work <laughs> i'm a turtle and she's like it's just a kiss you, you rescued me i just want to give you a little sloppy kiss and um the turtle's like no nah, we can't do that that's bestiality um very weird just weird. vibes in general just weird this was in the manga too i imagine right uh, it was it had three chapters dedicated wow to it. i need to read that yes um and then we go back to our androids of course well no 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 <laughs> not before marin yeets herself into oh, the ocean right. out of anger yeah which and then it's but she i takes thought she, two steps into the beach and then dives i guess that's a just broken a, neck yeah she's Gotta I've done dead. that before and it hurt my neck. <laughs> I literally have done that before. Maybe Roshi's <laughs> Island is just like a like a cliff. Like there's a, a giant cavern. The right drop off. Of yeah, the drop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so she does that. I guess she's pissed or whatever. Um because she didn't get to freaking kiss a turtle. And then they scared the birds away. 
That's when the birds get scared. I actually said it too early. Yeah, this is when I came up with a theory that 16 is going to um, kill them. What, because I'm what sensing, even gives you, what, so what gives you that? Because I'm sensing he doesn't like when people, like I'm sensing a little frustration and a little pissed off in him. They scared the birds away and he's like getting frustrated. <coughs> and, you know, the birds what is, wasn't his mission, but if the birds was his mission, I think he would have been a lot more pissed. So I imagine what, maybe, The birds was, <laughs> what do you mean the birds wasn't? <coughs> His mission. That, that Mountain Dew Zero uh, Major Melon. It went down the. <laughs> it went down the wrong pipe. Um, <coughs> the, like his mission is to kill Goku. <clears throat> yes. But like he was intrigued by the birds, and then when they scared the birds away, he was like, "I got a sense of that he was pissed off about it." So mm-hmm. now I'm imagining, like, man, what if the birds was his mission, and they got in the way of that? I bet he would have been even more pissed off. Sorry if you hear my dogs barking. Someone's breaking into my home right now. No. Um. <clears throat> It's not even picking up, actually, so that's good. Nice. And um, so I'm, I've got a feeling that he's, he's going to be trying to kill Goku. They're going to do something to like get in the way of that, and then he's going to go and kill them real quick. That's just my hunch. You, you don't think they're going to commit to the Goku killing? Not anymore, no. Why? Because he's already like down and out. I don't think they're going to take him down and out, bring him back for two episodes, kill him, and then make us do the whole thing again. But I say that knowing that they've done that every time. So you think what you're you what you're saying is you think that sixteen is the villain here like for of, Goku. The, of the arc for Goku. I see. And seventeen. I think we're gonna have gonna, two fights uh, going on. Well, I think okay. So here's what we got going on. We've got um. We've got the androids seventeen and eighteen versus the gang and Goku because Goku just wants to take them all out. Mm-hmm. Sixteen is not worried about killing our gang. That he's just worried about killing Goku. So Goku's going to be worrying about the Android 17 and 18 and the 16. So he's going to be pulled apart in different directions. So I think maybe Android's, or 16's going to be Andrew, the 16, <laughs> <laughs> is going to be fighting Goku. Goku's going to be also fighting 17 and 18. 17 and 18 are going to get in the way at that point at somehow. 16's going to take him out. And then I do think the big bad at the end will be 16 versus like the whole damn gang. Interesting. I can't wait to revisit this theory. That's my theory. It feels right. It feels good. <clears throat> I will, I will tell I'm you. I'm feeling very affirm. I'm feeling very firm. I'm pretty there. sure. Uh, I won't say anything. Um, you're feeling firm? Yeah. Nice. Firm. We are going to. Oh, Bulma is telling. So they get to Gohan's house where Goku is, his dying father. But Bulma wants to go home first. Mm-hmm. So then Gohan redirects and takes Bulma home, which yeah. we see next episode. And the androids want to find a car still. Yeah, they still want to find a car. Oh, Krillin. So Krillin tries. Yeah. He, he knows he can't beat him in a fight. He runs up to him. He's like, why are you guys doing this? And they're like, it's Dr. Giroux's orders. An appeal to the ethos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what, they call, it. what we, that's they call it in literature. In liter- liter- uh, literary. <laughs> and um, he, he he's trying. He's like, why are you doing this? Dr. Giroux's dead. Like, And they're like, it's Dr. Giroux's orders. And he's like, well, who cares what he thinks? Like, you killed him. Don't you remember? And they're like, yeah, we remember. But at this point, it's just a game. And then 16 is like, I have to kill Goku. Affirmative. Affirmative. <laughs> and then they're like, all right, bye. And then Android 18 gives him a little peck on the cheek. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming Krillin's first. Mm. We Krillin's a virgin. Let's just. Well, I don't know. Oh, no, dude. Marin. He kisses Marin. I Marin think. seems not. She's very horny for Krillin. She definitely. She was. She put out, yeah. She was horny for Krillin. I presume, unless he's like a wait for marriage kind of guy, which is fine that krillin is not a virgin but he he is a monk he is a okay so he might not even do monk i know in game of thrones the monks like are castrated or is that castrated a what? it's not castrated it's uh what? what's the word what's the word <laughs> celibate no you cut it all off what there's castrated just like the balls if you cut everything off i have no idea oh my god i don't even want to know <laughs> i only know this because it's like a plot point in game of thrones spoilers i guess kind of monks this poses some serious questions <laughs> he's a Ears shaolin monk for what off. it's worth monks? like shaolin showdown the tv show Unix. he's a eunuch. oh i did know that Unix. is that really what that means i think so god that's, dang, that's what i meant in game of thrones so brutal. if crone's a eunuch well he could still be having like sexual activity maybe just not intercourse anyway <laughs> <laughs> um yeah he gets the kiss on the cheek they go away and the episode is over Yes, I gave um, it a three out of seven stars. I gave it a three out of seven stars. Look at us. There was a lot of padding that was very terrible, um, but the stuff that mattered was good. Enough. Agreed. Not a whole lot happened. 
episode 137. I forgot to ask you what it's called. Hit it Last right. ditch effort. Oh my God. So we're picking up the pieces. Everyone's down and out. Everyone's kind of half dead except for Krillin because he just watched. Uh, I wrote picking up the pieces because that was the title of the episode after, God, what was it? After the Vegeta fight, I think. Mm-hmm. Sacrifice, Snapper's Rampage, Nimbus Speed, Goku's Arrival, Goku versus Vegeta, and Saiyan Size Secret. Krillin up the, yeah, it's episode Mercy. thirty-six. Picking up, the picking pieces. up the pieces. I wrote picking great up the title. Pieces. Sensu, Sensu, we, we, Sensu all around. Yeah, everyone he's gets got, a shot. He's got six left. Vegeta gets two. Mm-hmm. Tien gets one. Piccolo gets one. Trunks gets one. That's everybody. Krillin didn't need one. Yeah. Um, Vegeta takes it and immediately. Leaves. He is very, very, very pissed. We know. We I know. Put, I put that he's kind of being a bitch. Well, yeah. He's his ego has been very severely bruised. Which Piccolo says he's like. I think the thing that's hurt him most today is his ego. His pride. Yeah. That wasn't a good Piccolo. Um, I liked he, it. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> they. I forget who says, like, man, They. I think it was Tien. They were just toying with us the whole time. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Vegeta leaves. Of course, he storms off. He blasts off. Doesn't say a word. Trunks is about to um, chase after him, but Piccolo is like, no, stop. Like, he's he needs time. Mm-hmm. In a very weirdly well-animated uh, little sequence there where Vegeta, or where Trunks was going to chase after Goku. Mm-hmm. Vegeta. Um, androids. Oh, so Trunks goes into this conversation now of these trunks, these trunks, <laughs> these <laughs> androids are stronger than the androids in my time. Those are still stronger than me, yeah. but these ones are even stronger. He didn't even, he couldn't even put a dent in them. Literally. Mm-hmm. Uh, then Piccolo has a little tantrum of his own. He does. Well, not well, before cause... not before Trunks starts talking about um, who he is, kind of. He's alluding to it a little bit. And Krillin's like, do we know that Vegeta oh, yeah. and Bulma are your mom and dad? Well, he's literally called Trunks. Yeah. And Vegeta's baby is called, or Bulma's baby is called Trunks. Yeah. Well, I mean, so that alone... there could be a lot of babies named Trunks in this world. <laughs> yeah, I guess. And then Trunks is like, but I didn't want to tell my dad. And it's like... And well, even Krillin's like... I think we all know, except for your dad. That was a good Krillin. It's, um, you know, getting there. It needs work. It needs work. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the world's worst kept secret, and Trunks still thinks he's doing a good job at it. That's okay, though. Piccolo does have his own tantrum, though. Um, he, like, freaks well, out. Well, because Krillin's being super obnoxious. That's He's fair. like, what are you going to do, Piccolo? Come on, tell us. And Aren't Piccolo's we buddies? Piccolo's like, boom, I'm, bla- I'm blowing up the earth. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it back to Dragon Ball days. Yeah, he got so angry he did a little blasty. Yeah, and then he flew up, and he's like... Blast mm. from the past. He said... Um, he's like, I'm going to my own place. Don't follow me. Seriously, don't follow me. I'll blow you all up and kill you, basically. Well, I don't know if he's going to do that, but he seems very angry. He flies off. At this point, I wrote, what is Piccolo up to? Going to go become his own variant of a Super Saiyan. No, you did not. Yeah. And then, Dang. like, 45 seconds later, um, Krillin's like, he's going to Kami's place, probably to form into one with Kame. Um, and then he's like, I remember, and, and Krillin's like, I remember Roshi told me, that they used to be one, and um, Kame is all the negative, or um, Piccolo is all the negative energy of Kame separated from him. And if they formed together, they'd be the most powerful being in the universe. Um, he would be a super Namek. And I was like, oh, look at that. Like, yeah, he's like, yeah, like together. if Goku and Vegeta are super Saiyans, he would be like a super Namek. I think it's more, I th- yeah, I think it's like an, uh, yeah, I don't just think the he's best. actually going to go become a super Namek. Maybe he will turn um, Golden super Saiyan. I would like to see him be golden. My my little golden boy. My little golden pony. We get a little more of uh, Vegeta's tantrum. He's just flying through the air. He's, um, what was he doing? I forget. He's just flying. And he was, well, he was talking to himself angrily. Just like, it's what you'd expect. Just like, a, I'll show those androids. They think they can defeat me. I, I will right. make them beg for mercy. <laughs> Flies away. And Tien's like weirdly nice about Vegeta. Tien's like what does he say again i don't remember but i wrote Tien's giving vegeta a lot of credit he's like it's gonna be okay he's gonna come back well stronger yeah stronger than ever he's just having a hard time and i'm like you don't know this dude i mean he is gonna come back because it's vegeta but like mm-hmm. i don't know if these i don't know if vegeta or these people think or know whether or not vegeta cares about them or not <laughs> i don't yeah. know if anybody really knows including vegeta yeah i think that he's 
uh, holding on to um, the whole Prince of All Saiyans thing. Strongest fighter in the world ever in history. Which he lost to Goku, lost to Frieza, lost to androids. He's kind of just taking L's all over the place. The only fight he's won, you know, he won a few fights on Namek. Since then, I think the only fight he won would be um, 19. Yep. Who he did destroy very quickly. Yeah. Um, um, then we cut back to, who do you think? The Chads and Marin. Yeah. Many Chads. One is Scuba Diver. Well, hold on. They're watching a TV show first together. Mm-hmm. Uh, Marin and Roshi. And there's a scene where a dude's breaking up with a girl. And he's like, I'm sorry. I don't love you anymore. And I got a bone to pick with this TV show because he says that. And then the, he runs off. And the girl's like, please don't leave me. What about our love? And it's like, did you not just hear what he said? He said he doesn't love you anymore. There is no love. You need to move Literally on. Literally the shittiest writing. Yeah, seriously. Like, come on. What is this? I'm not going to... You're going to make me watch a TV show within a TV show, and I and it's going to be that bad? Like, come on. Get it together. Animation was really nice, though. Mm-hmm. I almost think it was like an homage to maybe another anime I'm not familiar with, because um, the anime was a different style, or the animation was a different style for sure. It's very cool. Anyway, they're crying on the couch. They're boohooing. Um, they look out the window, and who do you think shows up? Chaz. Every single one of Marin's boyfriends. Um, of which it was out, like 30 yeah it turns out she called all her boyfriends because she's just bored i guess um she runs out there with her luggage all the boyfriends have like different accents one of them has like arnold schwarzenegger accent which is kind of cool um i don't know if it was supposed to be like that uh, <laughs> i did not catch that at all but <laughs> he's like hello Mara. <laughs> that was a really bad arnold. <laughs> that was as bad as it gets i'm sorry to all our austrian well, listeners hello baron <laughs> affirmative <laughs> affirmative um, um but uh she's running out there and the turtle damn it he runs out there and he grabs her um the part of her underwear that goes right between her butt cheeks and he holds on and he says no you can't do this what if krillin comes back and she's like oh my god you're so right no that 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 happened that? two episodes ago oh that happened last episode that's why i said he ate ass oh okay well we yeah but so, you know what who who honestly gives a shit she actually point? does leave <laughs> she, she leaves. gets in a boat with um the first Marin Sayers, the ones that show up and say Marin, and um, and then she Marin. gets in their boat, and she's gone forever. Brandon says, "We'll see." I don't believe him. Cut to Bulma's house. Um, they finally get there. Yajirobe wants cake and cookies. Um, cake Bulma's mom cookies. is like, "Oh, let me get you some cake and cookies." <laughs> that was bad. That's your New Jersey. What is uh? Yeah, what does she actually sound like? Like a New Yorker, like a New New Jersey. Like, oh, let me get you some cake and cookies. Hey, you want some coffee and cookies, kiddos? <laughs> All right, so Gohan, but Gohan's like, no, I want to go see my dad. <laughs> Leaves. Yeah, bye. Was it something I said? Kami, we get uh, <laughs> a backstory again, I guess, and it's like not quite on the mark of the what actually happened in Dragon Ball. I thought so, but I wasn't sure because it had been a minute. Because I like the he comes, he comes, he's old, and then he gets the Dragon Balls and wishes to be young, yep. and then the Goku stuff happens. Mm-hmm. But it kind of just skipped all that and pretended. Yeah, I don't know. It was cool to see this. I actually enjoyed this Dragon Ball flashback because it was short and, and awesome. The animation was like very good, and it's also a cool reminder of like how different the Dragon Ball animation is. Yeah, so different compared to there's like a just like a. I don't know. Even like Goku's mouth design, he's just like it's something just, about him. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I like this flashback, but again, you need to watch Dragon Ball. You douchebags. Douchebag. Um, so yeah, we got that again for some reason. Um, and then we go to Piccolo flying to Kami's tower. And for the record, the flashback was Goku killing King Piccolo and then him spitting up the egg. Yeah, and then we was the kind of like the or... yeah we split it into two two parts and he was the culmination that's of my a, evil. That's a very good comment. Thank you. Was that canon the the whole flashback of Kame at the tower with his old former I don't master? think I don't think that it's ever no no no. I think it was it's the just... same design as the Garlic Junior Masters and obviously we know that's. I don't canon. I don't know I mean the 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 concept is canon yes but uh, I don't even know well no. The the old master thing is yeah I think bullshit but the fact that he did split into the two parts the evil and the yeah. w- that's all we know that's canon but yeah, yeah I don't know and no so it's just whatever Piccolo arrives and he's like um I'm here and Kami's like no dude there's not a chance and then the narrator's like well, is it gonna happen what Oops. do you think is gonna happen I think that they are gonna form Krillin implied that the Dragon Balls would disappear which they would we've heard that before yes um there's also still two sets of dragon balls yeah namek yeah, is namek has yeah, them yeah, yeah. but namek's yeah. not a planet anymore so it was yeah is it not did they not wish it back i don't even remember i don't remember either i thought they i thought <laughs> they did saga was so long ago am i right uh so long 
We're on episode, what is it, 137? 137. We get to go to a new disc. Give it another th- uh, 3 out of 7. I also gave it 3 out of 7 because, yeah. you know, just uh, really flown it in there. The, good, the, the actual story was good, but once again, we are bogged down by nonsense. Yeah. But that's okay. It's still fun. I think that the next few episodes are going to be not good. If I remember correctly, and I don't want to get your hopes up, I think things start moving pretty quickly here. We'll see. We'll see. But I have also said that before. And <laughs> but I do, I would tell you I'm extremely, extremely excited for what is coming. What is coming? Us, when we see what's coming. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, find out next time on Dragon Ball Speak.